welcome Emmy-winning actress Lynn Whitfield and Tony-winning performer Renee Elise Goldberry. Goodness. Okay, first of all, just saying hello to both of you backstage and seeing you two here. Y'all seem like such good friends. I can sense the vibe between you. But this is the first time you work together to I in a project. Met on the set. On the set. Really? The day we were shooting. Yes, yes. yes. And, and where'd the chemistry come from? Let me tell you. Being present. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but tell them. Well, I mean, she just, she, I, I, I just believe that actresses of her caliber know how to show up and disarm people. Yes. Because everybody is gonna be like, oh gosh, Lynn Whitfield, am I good enough? And so she just knows, she walked in the room and she said, girl, I, girl, do you know who you're gonna be kissing in this movie? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first and so, thing you said. And so, so I looked across the, I saw Renee, yes. right? Yeah. But I looked across the, the plane and there was J. Alphonse. I said, girl, you gonna be kissing Lil' Murder. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Lil' Murder, Lil' Murder. <laughs> I said, Lynn Whitfield knows Lil' Murder. This is gonna be fun. You know it's gonna be fun. And y'all had a lot of fun. But Lynn, first of all, besides the fun you had, I was shocked to hear that you got a lap dance at Magic City in Atlanta. The strip club Magic City. Well, and that it was a non sequitur. <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, I gotta get this out. I don't wanna forget this. Okay, because okay, you are a fun woman. All right, no, so, so I wanted to go because I'd never had the experience okay. of going to one of those places. So I went to one of those places and all of my like thin line fans and my, they, they were like, Boom, 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 boom. And all of a sudden, people are coming. I'm like, what are you doing? Yes. No, thank you. I'm gifting. OK. <laughs> I'm gifting. Because that's what's so funny, because everybody recognizes you from a thin line between love and hate. OK, so you are. So I can imagine you walking into Magic City, and they were like, oh my god!" Can I tell you, it was validation that I have street cred. <laughs> I have cred, uh, I, but it was amazing. I, it is absolutely amazing, I know. And now, I want to ask you, Renee, uh -uh. Are, yeah, girl, <laughs> because you, you and Lynn vibe so well, are you a lap dance kind of girl? Uh -uh. Let me tell you. <laughs> How does one answer a show that her mother watches with that question? Uh, I, I, I will tell you, I, honestly, what's so wonderful about being in this business is that you yeah. find yourself in all kinds of strange places. Oh, you're such yes. a good and diplomat. And you just, you know, you learn, you look Ambassadorial. around. Yes, so I have, I, yes. I've experienced so many things. I love that. That's a very, that's a very ambassadorial answer, huh, Lynn? <laughs> Now, I love it because, <laughs> and we're talking about our kids, you know, that was a great answer for the kids who were watching. <laughs> Absolutely. I, God, Grace is older now. Well, that's what I'm saying. Your daughter, you and Grace, uh, gosh, she's old, like, she's your best friend now, you two. Oh, you she's... And your, look how beautiful she, she is. She's so beautiful. Aww. That's so amazing. Like, now, she, now... She's my friend, she's my child, she's my muse. Everything to you. Yes, yes, she's, you know my greatest annoyance every now and then. <laughs> but that's what they're it supposed to be. Oh, yes. And she is also a performer, but I know she doesn't like saying her age. That's like, so how no, does she... No, she says she's a color. Okay. So it's in colors now. Okay. So last year it was chartreuse. She, so she turned chartreuse. She, yes. And the next one is marigold. She turned marigold. <laughs> this is, I love it. You, because you let her be creative and, you know. I, a, you know, she's grown. I, I follow her now. Okay. Yeah, so she I'm says she wants her. to be. That's a creative way of doing it. Yes. I like that. I like, so when somebody asks me how old I am, I'm going to be like, a rose. <laughs> rose. <laughs> I love and Renee, you got two gold. children. Re, re, gold. Is that what? <laughs> gold. Um, yes, no, I do. I have two children. You got two children. Let me see. Now, uh, Benjamin is Benjamin, uh, Benjamin is 15. 15. And you got Brielle. Brielle is Brielle's gonna, yes, 10. she is 11. Yeah, 11 my husband, old. Alexis. Oh, my it's God. It's so funny. They change so fast at this age. They look they look almost nothing like that anymore. It's, like, it's so funny, because Benjamin I Benjamin is like 10 beautiful. feet tall. Bri He's so tall. Yeah. And I was looking at you. I was like, well, whose daughter is that? You oh, look I just like their you. sister. I love you. So are they, are they, want, do they want to follow in their mama's steps? Um, do they want to? 
I mean, you know, they do some so many things. It's like it used to be that you could do everything. You know this yeah. with your you know, with your I own son, and son. now you have to pick so early. Absolutely. Um, so I like to keep them. You know, my son plays basketball, my daughter plays soccer. They still love to do theater some in the summertime. Uh huh. You know, but I, I try to make sure that I spend as much time in the audience for them. Okay. As opposed to having it be the other way around. Exactly. Yeah. I love that. And I love you want to spend so much time with your kids. You, you, you do. I have to say, I saw you in Hamilton. You want a Tony? You want a Tony for your role in Hamilton? You were absolutely amazing. But I did not know this. You almost didn't go to the audition. I didn't. Why, you know, Mama? Well, because I had just brought my second, my, my, my second child came home, my family was complete, and I honestly didn't believe they would give me the job. Oh, really? Yes, that's why I, I love to tell this story, because I think our biggest enemy is ourselves. We say Absolutely. no to ourselves. And uh, when, let me tell you when, you, when somebody says no and they don't go to an audition, you know what you say to them? Thank you because now the odds are greater that I'm gonna get Absolutely. the job. Absolutely. So I, I just try to make sure, and it's harder when you get older. The more gold I get, yes. the more golden <laughs> I get, the, hard, the easier it is to say, oh, they're never gonna pick me for this, or this is never what, gonna though? happen. But you know what, what? that thing is saying, they're not gonna give you the job, you, you earned it. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. you earned it. Okay. You earned it, it wasn't about to be. you know what? I would've earned to be sitting next to you this on the Shepherd's well, house. Yeah, Look, first of all, Lynn knows more than little murder. She got some, she got some gems yes. for you. My grandmother always said, if you don't, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. Oh yeah. You know of going. So I'm so that. glad that you went because had you not, I, I, I would not. I don't know what my life would be. Absolutely. I don't know what it would be. It would be something wonderful, but it would not be this. It would not be and this. This has been a blessing to me. Huge Absolutely. Yes. You know, and and you know, you were in Hamilton. Lin Man, Lin uh, Manuel Miranda. He, you know, he championed you for your series, yes. which was five. Girls five ever. Girls five ever. Yes, girls five ever. <laughs> and I love that because. I had a show called Trial and Error with, I... with, uh, with Mr. Witherspoon. Yes, and, give it up. Um, and, um, not Mrs. Witherspoon, I'm so sorry. Oh my, who was I in Trial and Error with? John Lithgow, John Lithgow yeah. and Kristen Chenoweth, and Lynn manuel Miranda like championed me. So yeah. I, I know he was been championing you and awesome. your series. Absolutely. Are He's, we gonna get a second one? A third, fourth, so we're praying. I want everybody to go watch the show. Yes. yes. Vote. And then watch Girls 5 Ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> watch, and then set your calendars for November 15th to see Albany, Albany Road. Road. That's what I'm, that's what I'm yes. talking about. We're so excited. Yes. We are coming yes. to Albany Road. I watched this. I loved y'all together. So, Lynn, see, you and Renee and Albany Road, mm -hmm. I heard that the director directing you has a buzzword for you. Well, yeah, you know, so many of the roles that I've played. It's so been, many! Well, you know, but some of them are very, you know, women with carriage and, you yes. know, very complex and doing all these, you know, very mannered, uh -huh. glamorous things. Yes. But Christine had a buzzword for me whenever I was getting to up a drawer on the whole okay. thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it was folksy. Folksy. So I would go from, like, this to, like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love even the physicality. Yeah. Well, the physicality of it. You know, you have to make those adjustments yes. with characters. Everyone doesn't walk the same. Yes. Everyone doesn't have the same kind of energy inside of them when they walk. So, but one person is saying, hello, look at me. Yes, I'm all that. Move out the way, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm coming, part the waves. And the other <laughs> said, okay, I'm in here with y'all. Uh, yeah. And we're gonna go. do it. Come on, let's go. Do what I say. Yeah. You know, it's a different kind of um, body language yeah. and weight to the character. And well, this character, Paula, is very grounded in who she is. Oh, she is. She knows. This she one, knows. Albany wrote, I love it because it's an independent, which is very hard to get through. And, you know, you got a great director, you got a great writer who pushed it through. Christine Swanson. Oh, my gosh. And I love and that. Her and we have Michael to. Michael Swanson, who produced it. We must support independent films and projects because it is so hard to get them made and get them on the screen. But I, I do, yes. I, I just want to say I'm such a fan of yours from Eve's Bayou, from uh, the yeah. thin line between love and hate, yeah. all of the characters you play. I can't, I'm so nervous sitting across me. I cannot remember them all. <laughs> I love you in the shy. I got to say, you, you, congratulations. Thank you. You never stop working. Something to aspire to, I yes? Oh, yeah. She never says no.
Well, there's so many stories. Well, oh, maybe she does, but but she says yes. A oh, girl, it depends on the bank account. <laughs> <laughs> we know this. We know this. You are you are golden enough and chartreuse enough to know. Okay. Well, no, I I I no, I wore this for a reason because I'm hot pink. Okay. <laughs> All right now. <laughs> I love it. You know what? That hot pink, it never goes away. It's with you always. I love it. Always, always. Always, always. Renee and Lynn, thank you so much for being here. Y'all, Albany Road hits theaters November 15th, and go support it because it is an independent film. It's not made with big studio money, so it needs our support, so please go and see it. Yes. And it's funny. And it's funny. And it's funny. And, and poignant. And it's and it's AMC Select Theater, so check to see what AMC theater it is in yeah. and go and see it. It is so entertaining. And well, I'm going we in my reclining seats uh, to go <laughs> see the movie. Y'all, and I just want to say, uh, up next, comedian, writer, and producer Chris Spencer is here. But give it up for Renee Elise Goldberry. <laughs>